हेलो एवरीवन वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आप सभी का ऑन आर मे सिक्सटीन न्यूज़ पेपर अनालिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे फ्रॉम टर्म्स ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स अब आप सबको ये पता है कि अब वी आर इन द एंड गेम फॉर क्लैट 2022 ट्वेंटी टू एस्पिरेंट्स बट वी आर ऑल्सो इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ बिग रिक्वायरमेंट्स फ्राम क्लैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री स्टूडेंट्स राइट सो इस वजह से ये आपके लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है ये जो मे का महीना है दिस बिकम्स अ वेरी वेरी की मोमेंट फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन इन द एग्जामिनेशन देर इज नो वे टू एस्केप द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द मंथ ऑफ मे एंड इसी वजह से इन टूडेज अनालिसिस वी विल बी कवरिंग टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ओके एंड दैट इज वेयर द फोकस विल बी ओके okay, सो so आज का जो न्यूज़पेपर एनालिसिस है उसमें जो भी कंटेंट है वो आपके लिए बहुत ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट हो जाता है आपके एग्जामिनेशन पर्सपेक्टिव से आप इसको स्किप नहीं कर सकते राइट सो ऑन दैट नोट लेट्स बिगिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू हो हैव ट्यून इन लाइव एंड आई नो फॉर अपडेट्स ऑन द रिविजन सीरीज आप लोग मुझसे एंटिसिपेट कर रहे हैं आई अश्योर यू कि I have missed the deadline because of health reasons, but do not worry. I will be able to finish this revision series by the end of this week. We will be able to do it. Or आप लोगों को भी panic नहीं करना चाहिए about the revision series, the content. We still have ample amount of time. पूरा पूरा अभी thirty days are left in the examination. So बिल्कुल panic मत करिए. There is time, and we will finish our syllabus by the end of this week. So on that note, very very good afternoon to everyone who has tuned in live. and are anxiously waiting for updates on the revision series hold your breath i will provide them very very soon uh, we'll have marathon classes to cover that so on that note very good afternoon lakshay simon ipshita nandini janvi shaili sarthak aisha swati anirudh very good afternoon to you i am doing better hi aisha so on that note shuru karte hain before i do that agar aap mujhe sabse pehli baar dekh rahe hain to i am kushagra goel a graduate from national law university and the revision series that got 90% of the gk questions is on so make sure that aap an academy ki learners aap zarur download kariye and updates from our telegram channel agar aapko koi bhi update chahiye about my rescheduling of classes why it is happening especially because of this electricity shortage that is coming across the country so us all of those updates about all classes is available on my telegram channel plus on an academy side we have one big announcement specially for clat 2023 aspirants and beyond which is about that until may 19 we are running a very special offer where you all will be able to save up to 35% on your law subscriptions not a small discount but a discount of 35% on your subscriptions and for that all you have to do is use the code kusgk this is on iconic and on plus both our type of subscriptions will have 35% off so make sure that you are able to ensure that you get such humongous amount of savings on your subscriptions and you can avail an additional discount above that by using the code kusgk so this code becomes your key to access all your preparation for examination and along when you subscribe to an academy now you will also get access to clat e notes these e notes launch on may 20 they are comprehensive books and aap in e notes ke through apni puri preparation kar paoge bina kisi hassle ke especially students jo abhi apply karenge and will apply for 6 months or more will get six uh, physical copies of these e notes plus in iconic you get live mentorship plus live doubt solving plus priority in classes so make sure that you avail benefit of all these things and enroll in this new batch that is nlu esteem where i will be doing revision classes for all of you starting may 20 so agar aap apna pura syllabus cover karna chahte hain to then you can enroll in nlu esteem where i will be taking master class on gk plus you can for 2023 aspirants it is clat let's crack clat batch which starts on may 18 okay so on that note shuru karte hain hamara aaj ka news paper so the first big news of the day is india winning the thomas cup okay अब टॉमस कप वी हैड टॉक इन आर फ्राइडे न्यूज़पेपर एनालिसिस कि इंडिया वाज इन द फाइनल्स ऑफ टॉमस कप वेयर एज द वुमेंस हैड बाउड आउट ऑफ द ऊबर कप सो टॉमस कप हैज नाउ बीन वन बाय इंडिया फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द कंपटीशन ये बैडमिंटन का वर्ल्ड कप के तौर पे होता है सो स्पेशली बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इट बिकम्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू बी नोटेड डाउन ओके 
सो सबसे पहले डिटेल्स अबाउट वॉट इज टॉमस कप गेट योर पेन आउट वॉट एवर यू हैव टू नोट डाउन ओके सो स्टार्ट नोटिंग सबसे पहली बात वी हैव वन द टॉमस कप सो द टॉमस कप इट सेल्फ वेन वॉज द टॉमस कप फाउंडेड सबसे पहली बार कब हुआ था नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन में हु वॉज द ब्रेन चाइल्ड बिहाइंड इट इट वॉज जॉर्ज एलन टॉमस उन्हीं के नाम पे टॉमस कप है ना शुरू में टॉमस कप तीन सालों में होता था नॉर्मली अगर आप कोई और स्पोर्ट फॉलो करते हैं इफ़ यू फॉलो एनी अदर स्पोर्ट्स जैसे कि क्रिकेट फुटबॉल ओलंपिक्स ऑल ऑफ देम हैपन विद अ गैप ऑफ फोर इयर्स राइट एवरी फोर ईयर दे हैपन बट द टॉमस कप ओरिजिनली यूज टू हैपन एवरी थ्री ईयर्स बट फ्रॉम नाइनटीन एटीज ऑनवर्ड इट इज़ बींग हेल्ड एवरी टू ईयर्स सो अब अगर आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछा जाए कि वेन दस द नेक्स्ट टॉमस कप हैपन इट हैपन इन चाइना इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर हर दो साल में होगा सो दिस इज द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड इट हैपन एवरी टू ईयर्स इट इज लाइक अ बाइनियल इवेंट एंड दिस एडिशन हैज बीन वन बाय इंडिया इट इज आर वेरी फर्स्ट टाइटल द लास्ट वॉज इन परफॉर्मेंस अंटिल देन तब हम सेमीज में गए थे ठीक है इन 1979 वी हैड रीच द सेमीफाइनल्स बट दिस ईयर वी हैव वन द कंपटीशन आउट राइटली ओके एंड द होस्ट कंट्री फॉर टॉमस कप दिस ईयर वाज थाईलैंड थाईलैंड होस्टेड द टॉमस कप द 2024 टॉमस कप विल बी हेल्ड बाय चाइना ओके 41 विल बी हेल्ड बाय चाइना द नेक्स्ट वन विल हैपन इन चाइना now a little bit of history about the thomas cup the most successful country in thomas cup is indonesia they have 14 titles next come china who have won 10 and then there is japan and denmark who have also won one one edition one thing to note down is that in the past 10 years there have been three new winners of the thomas cup japan 2014 denmark in 2018 and now us in 2022 okay so this is the time when new countries are winning the thomas cup which is japan denmark and now india only five countries have won the thomas cup till now and india is now one of them theek hai who conducts the thomas cup it is the badminton world federation okay now along with thomas cup there is the uber cup not the uber app before the uber app came where you all use book your cabs the uber cup signifies the women's edition okay that is the one where women's compete and we bowed out in the quarter finals this year but this is india's win at the thomas cup the men's edition okay it's a men tournament and we have won it for the very first time in 2022 so that becomes a very very important news very good afternoon anshu anshul samir very good afternoon neelam also on that note sir since which year is it being held in the Two years. It's since 1980s. Okay, 1980s was when the format was amended. That's all that you need to note down. So, quick revision. India has won it for the first time. Where did the tournament happen in Thailand? When was the Thomas Cup founded? 1949. It is held every two years. The founder is George Allen Thomas. Okay. When will where will the next Thomas Cup happen? When will India defend its title? It will be in 2024 in China. and the most successful team of thomas cup indonesia the women's edition of it is the uber cup all right that's all we need to note down you will be able to access this slide through the notes on my bit.ly/kusgk notes so aap wahan pe is notes ko bhi access kar payenge agar aapne abhi tak note nahi kiya hai theek hai till what date should you be following current affairs the end of may 2022 aspirants के लिए मे 2022 इज द लास्ट मंथ टू कवर करंट अफेयर्स ठीक है करंट अफेयर्स आपको तब तक की कवर करनी ही करनी है इस वजह से हम न्यूज़ पेपर एनालिसिस में वी आर स्टिल एड्रेसिंग स्टूडेंट्स फॉर 2022 ओके जून ऑनवर्ड्स क्योंकि आपके एग्जाम में 19 डेज रहेंगे एग्जाम का क्वेश्चन पेपर प्रिपेयर हो चुका होता है तो अपडेटेड करंट अफेयर्स डजेंट मैटर देन सो मे 2022 जो ये महीना है इसकी पूरी करंट अफेयर्स आपको नोट करनी ही करनी है देर इज नो अदर वे अराउंड इट फॉर क्लैट 2023 2023 ट्वेंटी एस्पिरेंस के लिए अभी काफी टाइम है राइट right? उनका अटेम्प्ट होगा डिसम्बर 2022 में एज पर द डिटेल्स फ्रॉम क्लैट राइट नाउ तो दे विल हैव टू फॉलो अंटिल नवंबर 2022 ठीक है सो लेट्स कम ऑन 
come back then we have one other big news so political news not relevant for us none of this is important okay similarly so tripura now has a new cm that is one and who will be th that it will be manik saha who has been sworn in as the chief minister of tripura so aapko question aa sakta hai who is the new member of who is the new chief minister of tripura it is manik saha who has he replaced he has replaced biplav kumar dev okay so it is internally from the political party that the change has happened the other big news that we will be covering is finland confirms bid to join nato the last country to join nato which is a 30 member military alliance was north macedonia okay they had joined nato way back Four years ago, and now Finland and Sweden, two countries who fall in the Scandinavian region, and Finland, which shares a huge border with Russia, has now confirmed that it will be joining or wants to join NATO at least. Okay, so we'll be talking about this on the international news segment. Then we come. MP study finds hepatitis in COVID-affected children. Unka fire tragedy. Nothing of note for us here. then we come to other national news more political news nothing of note for us okay so we come to the editorial all right so the first editorial on the left hand side change of guard bjp is course correction in tripura this is about the change manik saha becoming the chief minister instead of biplav dev this is the news that we have isme political analysis of why this has happened what could be the ramifications all of it is not relevant for us okay then we come to the second one fuel to fire that is where we will be talking about this okay fuel to fire the focus must be on russia ending the war and not on expanding nato one of so what this editorial is talking about Russian rim lands are the border that jaise India has a border with Pakistan and China right <clears throat> now we have two hostile neighbors so hame our army stretched a lot of our funding goes into armed forces right similarly the russian rim lands are the border territories of russia okay the north has scandinavia of it ठीक है, the middle has the Baltics, then we have the Balkans, ठीक है, and then we have the Black Sea. Russia has a huge border with these countries. Okay, the borders of Russia. Russia is a continental-sized country. It's not. It is humongous in its size. One third of world's land mass is Russia. So, if, for example, the countries around Russia, okay, they are not favorable to them or they are hostile. Imagine the size of military that Russia needs to maintain to defend its borders. Okay. right this is the threat that russia faces on its rim lands all right and most of the countries on the rim land now are hostile to russia except for belarus almost every country on the russian rim lands which is the eurasian border aap isko eurasia border bhi keh sakte ho are hostile to russia especially after the special military operation in ukraine all these countries are hostile to russia what that means is now you need to defend even more and the risk of this is that most of these countries are now backed by an alliance that is the nato and nato is a nuclear powered alliance nuclear weapon alliance all right 
that means any threat between Russia and any of NATO members can lead to a nuclear warfare. And that is why the editorial headline is fuel to fire, that there is already a fire raging, there is a division that is happening and the membership of Finland and Sweden who are countries that have adjacent borders with Russia is only going to increase the threat potential. Uh, for example, if tomorrow Pakistan or China come to know that we are moving our nuclear missiles very close to the border, they will also escalate the tensions, they have nuclear weapons, they will also pull them closer to the border. There can be a real risk of war then and it can increase tensions. Why are there tensions in India, China right now? Because of 50,000 troops from Indian side, 50,000 troops from Chinese side engaged on almost at the <clears throat> drop of a coin. A bullet can be fired between India and China. That is the risk. India, Pakistan ke beech mein, there is always a risk of higher warfare. So this and the risk is similarly in Eurasian border ki it can be a nuclear war and a war that can devastate the entire continent. Millions of people can die. That was the lesson that was learned from World War II. But it seems ki that lesson has now been forgotten. Countries are more engaged. So instead of NATO wanting to, NATO has UK, U US, France. These countries, instead of trying to resolve the war in Ukraine, they are escalating tensions on other frontiers against Russia. And that is what the editorial is talking about. And that Russia will now, or people in Russia who believe that NATO is out to destroy Russia, will feel a sense of correction. They will feel that this is right. Because these countries are joining the NATO alliance. NATO is a nuclear alliance. So this is what this is talking about. Okay. So apart from this, so a couple of things. This is the entire premise on which this editorial is about. What we have to note is that Finland and Sweden, who do have a history of warfare with Russia are now or have confirmed their application to NATO. Now NATO will depend on if they will join it or not. So one pointer to be noted down to become NATO member. So for example, Finland wants to join in, right? So all 30 countries have to say yes for that to happen. One, nay, one no means the member will not be inducted, okay? So for this is the scenario right now. So we exam ke under one, we can definitely expect a passage on Ukraine, Russia or NATO, Russia, larger foreign policy in around that area, right? So one of the question is, what are the conditions to become a NATO member? One of them is consensus vote. All the current NATO members have to give a unanimous yes for it to be, or let's say if Sweden and Finland have to join in, all the 30 countries have to say, yes, we agree. So that is the thing that is known as. Then your questions, Belarus is in which region? Belarus falls under the Baltic area, okay? Baltics. Baltics has uh, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, Belarus. Okay. Balkans has Ukraine. Then North Black Sea countries are Moldova, Turkey, Georgia, the countries on the south of Russian rimlands. Okay. Georgia, Azerbaijan, Armenia. Those are the countries that come south of Russia. Okay. So this is the editorial here. And the last bit of the editorial is that it is going to push Russian uh, forces to even thinner areas because they will be bordering. For example, if they have to border against Finland right now, they will have to require to patrol a territory of 1,300 kilometers. And the editorial then draws a parallel of how the current tensions are similar to what had happened in 
द क्यूबिन मिसाइल क्राइसिस क्यूबिन मिसाइल क्राइसिस वॉज अ सिंपल इवेंट क्यूबा विच इज़ अ कंट्री एडजस्टन टू यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स had placed soviet nuclear missiles on its territory because of that uh, escalation had happened between soviet union and Ru usa usa wanted these missiles to go away so if in 1962 us could ask ussr to remove nuclear missiles away from close proximity of its territory how is russia's demand for doing the same unjustified think about it In 1962 the world came very close to a nuclear war because Soviet Union placed nuclear missiles in territories close to United States those missiles could attack USA at any moment so USA escalated it to the level of almost like a war that you remove these missiles Cuba was a sovereign country but was forced to remove these missiles similarly Russia had asked a similar demand from Ukraine and countries on its rim lands that please don't do this you are a nuclear alliance and please do not do this this threat increases threat potential in our country USA did not share any border territories with any soviet allies back then in 1962 cuba had a sea in between but here russian rim lands have no natural barrier jaise india china border ke beech mein there is a natural barrier of the himalayas similarly but between india pakistan we do not have natural border isi wajah se wahan pe we have to station far more troops that is the kind of risk that russia faces so from their perspective their security threat seems justified precisely what india has been saying that see security interests of different countries need to be kept in mind when we are resolving this dispute okay so on that note that this is what this editorial is about then we come to the main editorial so hum sabko pata hai we had talked about it in the last discussion of our newspaper analysis that the section 124a has been kept in abeyance okay so in this regard the author is trying to tell us that dekho historically also we wanted to move away from it for example this editorial points out how km munshi in the constituent assembly had drawn parallel from the trials of bal gangadhar tilak and mahatma gandhi to say that dekho we cannot have a seditious or a colonial state in our country what do we want we want to have free speech in the country we want to Not permit a restriction on free speech on the ground of sedition. मतलब सरकार का विरोध करने के लिए आपको देशद्रोह के कानून में नहीं डाला जा सकता ओके राजद्रोह सेडिशन मीन्स राजद्रोह ट्रीजन मीन्स राष्ट्रद्रोह सो सेडिशन वॉज अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट बट इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन द फेमस केस ऑफ केदारनाथ सिंह वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ बिहार हैड रिवर्स द वर्ड इट दे स्टेटेड कि नहीं नहीं सेडिशन इज अ रीजनेबल रिस्ट्रिक्शन on article 19 aur hum sabko pata hai ki supreme court in the current case had called that see sedition law is misused and therefore there is now a requirement of putting it on hold aisa supreme court ne kaha hai in the case of sg uh, vombatkri versus union of india they have called for this demand and the law is now in abeyance but the author is saying that dekho there is still a risk that this law Unless overturned by the Supreme Court, pura pura may return in other formats. Asa historically bhi hua hai, okay? That we have had laws which have been declared null and void, but have returned in the format of other new laws by the legislature. So the author is warning that, dekho, despite the Kedarnath case, which called for a standard, ki any act, speech that calls for incitement to violence can be seditious but the governments have abused the law to stifle any criticism against themselves aisa unhone kiya hai so therefore we must have a supreme court law to ensure that this law and this step is taken forward and we have a success for freedom in totality where our governments are not allowed to replicate the use of sedition through other statutes for us as students one once again we need to remember okay about the sedition law 
it has been kept in abeyance what is sedation all right so right now what is sedation or sedation section 124 what has happened to it it has been kept in abeyance so no case can be registered under it what is sedation simply raj dro against the government of the day what do you do you incite violence against the government of the day that is the standard that the courts have to apply but government supplied differently isi wajah se it has been kept in abeyance because the standard is not followed abuse of law has been the ground for it and that the law is now against the societal standards up we are not a colonial state anymore hamari government has to be responsible to our demands and that is exactly what this case is about okay then the next thing so this editorial very important aap sab ko ise zarur padhna hai theek hai then the second editorial is equally important for us the delhi high court split verdict needs to be resolved the line of reasoning of marital rape exception and protection of institution of marriage is problematic okay iske andar there are two things that this editorial can be learned from two parts okay one is what is the standard for something to be constitutional is editorial ko hum do part mein divide karte hain theek hai first of all is this part theek okay? hai this part answers why when is a law unconstitutional the second part of it tells us Okay. Now what has happened? The same day when the sedation judgment came out, which was on Thursday, okay, exactly 12th May को चार दिन पहले we got the judgment of sedation. उसी दिन same day the judgment of Delhi High Court also came. अब Delhi High Court की जो judgment थी was a split verdict. What was it? It was a split verdict. ठीक है on the exception of marital rape okay so section 1 section 375 exception 2 says that if there is non consensual sex between a man and a woman and the man is the husband of the woman then it is not rape okay so there was a split verdict where one judge said that this exception is not constitutional anymore where the other judge says that this is fine okay so hamare liye sabse important kaam kya ho jata hai in the first part of this editor the first part is very important for us 
ओके वाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट इट टेल्स अस द स्टैंडर्ड ओके द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ व्हेन अ लॉ इज कंसिडर्ड इक्वल सो अब क्या हो रहा है ए अंडर सेक्शन 375 व्हाट इज हैपनिंग we are creating two categories of men and women one are husband and wife and the others are non husband and wife ri okay so ab question ye uthta hai ki kya jo rape as an offense is kya uska effect on this reasonable difference ya kya yahan pe ek reasonable dimag se lagaya gaya difference create kiya gaya for example a man and a woman are differentiated by their sexuality आप उनको उनके सेक्सुअल ओरिएंटेशन, उनके बायोलॉजिकल ओरिएंटेशन पे डिफ्रेंशिएट कर सकते हो उसी तरीके से हम एनिमल्स को डिफ्रेंशिएट करते हैं किसी को कैट फैमिली में करते हैं किसी को कैनाइन किसी को हर्बी वर्ड्स कार्नी वर्ड्स बेस्ड ऑन व्हाट दे ईट राइट सो देर इज अ डिस्टिंगशन वी से दैट देर इज अ रीजनेबल क्लासिफिकेशन सो द एडिटोरियल इज आस्किंग अस इज देर अ रीजनेबल क्लासिफिकेशन बिटवीन द टू सेगमेंट्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी सो कोई भी कानून आर्टिकल 14 के अंडर अगर अप्लाई किया जाता है तो व्हाट डज इट हैव टू बी देर हैज टू बी अ रीजनेबल क्लासिफिकेशन ओके फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट देर शुड बी रीजनेबल क्लासिफिकेशन एंड द रीजनेबल क्लासिफिकेशन शुड बी डिस्टिंग्विशेबल फ्रॉम ईच अदर एंड दिस रीजनेबल क्लासिफिकेशन शुड ऑल्सो हैव अ रैशनल या लॉजिकल नेक्सिस ओके कोई रीजन होना चाहिए लॉजिकल होना चाहिए वो रीजन किसी के बीच में अगर डिफ्रेंशिएट किया जा रहा है तो ओके सो दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनैलिटी सो द क्वेश्चन बिफोर द कोर्ट इज क्या मैरिटल रेप एक्सेप्शन इज अ रीजनेबल डिफ्रेंशिया दैट इज वेर दी ऑथर इज से इट इज नॉट इट इज अ सर्कुलर आर्ग्यूमेंट ये कहना कि बिकॉज मैरिज को बचाने के लिए किसी का कंसेंट ले लिया जाए या फिर क्योंकि the effect of forceful sexual intercourse between a for a woman feels different when it is with a man and when it is with a husband that should be decided by each woman aisa author ka kehna hai is wajah se the second part is opinion so hamare liye as students of constitution law for clat what becomes important is what the standard of law is right so आर्टिकल 14 स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनैलिटी फर्स्ट देर हैज टू बी रीजनेबल क्लासिफिकेशन and second it has to be ओके, सो फर्स्ट आपको ये बताना पड़ेगा कि क्या आपने कोई कैटेगरी क्रिएट करी है जैसे कि वी हैव रीजनेबल क्लासिफिकेशन बिटवीन मेन एंड वुमेन देर इज रिजर्वेशन फॉर वुमेन एट सर्टेन लेवल्स सो दैट इज रीजनेबल क्लासिफिकेशन द डिफरेंशिया इज वुमेन आर डिप्राइव इन द सोसाइटी दे डू नॉट हैव रिप्रेजेंटेशन दे लैक रिप्रेजेंटेशन दे लैक सोसाइटल अपलिफ्टमेंट इस वजह से उनको रिजर्वेशन दिया जाता है सो दैट काइंड ऑफ डिफ्रेंसिएशन सो आर्टिकल 14 स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनैलिटी दिस इज द टू प्रॉन्ग दैट वी नीड टू नोट डाउन ओके सो एज ऑफ राइट नाउ क्या मैरिटल रेप एक क्राइम है या एक एक्सेप्शन है इट इज नॉट अ क्राइम इट इज एन एक्सेप्शन सो अगर देर इज अ मैन हु कमिट्स नॉन कंसेंचुअल सेक्स विद अ वुमेन हु इज हिज वाइफ वो रेप नहीं कहलाता है ओके okay? द ऑथर इज ऑफ द ओपिनियन कि इस तरीके की सोच इज अगेंस्ट द लॉजिक ऑफ अटोनमी ऑफ द वुमेन ये कहना कि एक वुमेन अपनी अटोनमी मैरिज में आने के बाद लूज कर देती है इज रॉन्ग 
क्योंकि अगर ऐसा होता है तो और कोई भी क्राइम को भी जस्टिफाई किया जा सकता है जैसे कि वी हैव डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस हम ऐसा कह सकते हैं वायलेंस बिटवीन मैन एंड वुमेन इज जस्टिफाइड सो डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस भी हटाया जा सकता है देर कैन बी सो द ऑथर इज सेंग ये एक स्लिपरी स्लोप है इस इस हिसाब से अगर हम लॉजिक अप्लाई करेंगे तो देर विल बी अ इम्पेडिमेंट ऑन फंडामेंटल राइट द कॉन्सेप्ट इज स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनैलिटी क्या डिटर्मिन करता है ये कि कोई ऐसा कानून नहीं होना चाहिए विच वायलेट्स फंडामेंटल राइट्स इन इट्स एप्लीकेशन इस तरीके का कोई कानून नहीं होना चाहिए विच विल वायलेट फंडामेंटल राइट्स ऑफ पीपल सो फंडामेंटल राइट्स आर ऑल द फंडामेंटल राइट्स ओके नॉट जस्ट वन जैसे आर्टिकल 14 ही नहीं आर्टिकल 19, 20, ऑल द फंडामेंटल राइट शुड बी इक्वली प्रोटेक्टेड ओके सो दिस इज वॉट इट इज इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट अबाउट दिस एडिटोरियल आप मुझसे कल भी दोनों एडिटोरियल के बारे में पूछ सकते हैं बोथ ऑफ देम आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ठीक है सो आपके लीगल करंट अफेयर्स के हिसाब से दे आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो प्लीज इंश्योर दैट यू आर वेल वर्स विद दीज एडिटोरियल दीज आर मस्ट रीड फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ओके ये दोनों ही एडिटोरियल आपके लिए मस्ट रीड है ठीक है इनको जरूर से पढ़ना है आपको आज ओके सो यू डू नॉट हैव टू अवॉइड इंक्लूडिंग दिस वन सो एडिटोरियल पेज टूडे इज फुल ऑफ रीडिंग आपको जरूर से पढ़ना है देन वी कम द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ लुम्बिन सो ये स्टैटिक जीके के लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है आज का दिन इज बुद्ध पूर्णिमा विच इज द बर्थ ऑफ किंग सिद्धार्था हु बिकेम लॉर्ड बुद्ध द फाउंडर ऑफ बुद्धिज्म एज ए रिलीजन ठीक है सो इन दिस रिगार्ड वाई इज लुम्बिनी इंपॉर्टेंट सो ये एडिटोरियल हमें ये बता रहा है कि लुम्बिनी एज अ कॉन्सेप्ट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल नॉट जस्ट रिलीजियस पर्पजेज बट ऑल्सो फॉर द आइडिएशन ऑफ एंड द सिग्निफिकेंस इन जियो स्ट्रेटेजिक सेंस मतलब नेपाल फॉल्स एंड बुद्धिज्म द कंट्री दैट इज एबल टू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट विद द प्लेस सराउंडिंग लुम्बिनी दैट विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ इनटेक एंड सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द कंट्रीज दैट आर बुद्धिस्ट इन देर मेजोरिटी और हैव सिग्निफिकेंट बुद्धिस्ट पॉपुलेशन एंड उसी वजह से चाइना हैज हैड अ हाई इन्फ्लुएंस इन द रीजन एज ऑफ नाउ बट इंडिया इज मूविंग क्लोजर आर प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज विजिटिंग लुम्बिनी टूडे वाई टू इस्टेब्लिश अ center for buddhist studies there which will be built by india so that increases india's engagement why is this place important okay and other places of importance so static gk ke hisab se this is important okay the birth play the enlightenment of buddha happened at bodhgaya his first sermon was at sarnath mahavir nirvana happened in kushinagar and there are multiple other places which is shravasti and nalanda rajgir which are other places of importance of buddhism that fall in india lumbini is in nepal while the other important places are in india okay then there are other important that lumbini and the mahabodhi temple in bodhgaya are world heritage sites they are that is why they are internationally important and the part of it all of this is at the end of the day to build a corridor a buddhist corridor where for example let's say someone is taking a pilgrimage jaise muslims take hajj india uh, hindus do char dham yatra in uttarakhand or they take us homage to the temple of tirupati so usi tarike ka ek circuit hona chahiye there should be easy way for a tourist who is traveling from one place to another in these sacred places they should have easy access उसी तरीके का एक कॉरिडोर की डिमांड हैज बीन हैपनिंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम दैट एफर्ट शुड बी मेड टू डिक्लेयर द एंटायर बुद्धिस्ट सर्किट दैट इज लुम्बिनी बोधगया सारनाथ खुशीनगर टू बी डिक्लेयर्ड वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट सिर्फ बोधगया और लुम्बिनी ही नहीं सारनाथ और खुशीनगर को भी वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट डिक्लेयर करना जाना चाहिए यहाँ पे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंप्रूव होना चाहिए ऑल ऑफ दैट इज वॉट द एडिटोरियल इज अबाउट स्टैटिक जीके के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से हमारे लिए ये इंपॉर्टेंट है लुम्बिनी इज द प्लेस ऑफ बर्थ ऑफ बुद्धा देन वी कम द एडिटोरियल ऑन द राइट इज रोड टू सेफ्टी रोड सेफ्टी नॉर्म्स के इंप्रूवमेंट के लिए नथिंग ऑफ नोट हेयर देन वी हैव द राइट टू से नो सो दिस वन दिस डेटा पॉइंट टॉक्स अबाउट द sources of where the abuse of women happens so for example 
in current times their non consensual sex most of it has happened from their current husband so they do believe that this happens and the source of it so that is why the marital rape exception can be problematic so this is perspective for a larger end kyunki sirf aur sirf clat hi hamara importance nahi hai overall your understanding of law as human beings is important so us hisab se ye editorial uh, ye data point kafi important hai aap sab ke liye then your questions uh part of speech aata hai yes abhinav it comes uh can anyone tell me which concepts are important for family law family law ke liye aapko clat mein jo bhi news ke andar hai ab jaise violence um rape as an offense is in news so that becomes important divorce as a concept becomes important okay domestic violence so those three things are there right triple talaq which again comes under the concept of divorce okay then we come uh, is posco important poxo is important in the sense of it's an absolute crime so if it happens if a sexual offense happens with a person below the age of 18 it is an offense that's all that you need to know aapko usko alag se padhne ki zarurat nahi hai it falls under the category of absolute liability okay then we come so the finland bid to join nato humne iske bare mein discussion pehle hi kar liya hai all the arguments that are explained in this finland and its two prime minister uh, the president and its prime minister sana marin and saul sauli ninisto they are in the picture here now this editorial also has one quote the lords are shepherd says plans but just in case we better get a bomb okay tom lehrer who's next this is about ki dekho while the god is looking over all of us the god will judge whether we have been good or bad but just in case the god is not overlooking let's have bombs to protect ourselves that is exactly the idea of security deterrence kya hai ye concept it is known as security deterrence इससे क्या होता है द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी डेटरेंस इज टू लिमिट द अदर साइड फ्रॉम एस्केलेटिंग टेंशन विद यू जैसे इंडिया पाकिस्तान के बीच में हॉट वॉर नहीं हुई है जब से वी हैव डिक्लेयर दैट बोथ ऑफ आस आर न्यूक्लियर स्टेट्स क्योंकि आप क्या होगा इफ वी अटैक और दे अटैक अस वी कैन यूज न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स टू अटैक दैम दैट कैन लीड टू ह्यूज डेवेस्टेशन वेर नो पार्टी विल कम आउट एज अ विनर सो इस वजह से सिक्योरिटी डेटरेंस का रीजन और रैशनैलिटी होती है a military alliance some countries it re, it increases an arms race and nato is basically a security alliance because uske andar you have to provide money while the other country will provide you weapons that is exactly what this editorial is about ki how the nato membership can be achieved the security threat what can happen a what can happen is not important for us what is the situation we have already understood then we move on understanding long covid and its effect ye aapki health ke liye important hai long covid is the symptoms of covid that you still have let's say you tested positive for a year ago for covid but abhi bhi aapko symptoms hai of fatigue nostalgia weakening of bones all of that is what long covid is about theek okay? hai then the incremental disruption of taxi labor this is about app, app aggregators nothing of note ye hamare liye policy se important hai then a big uh, update has happened in merger which is adani's have bought the ambuja cement and acc cement for 10.5 billion dollar they will become the second largest cement player behind ultra tech group that is the news then we come to this the prime minister to launch the buddhist center work prime minister will be traveling to nepal this is him traveling there after 4 years okay in a visit he will also speak at buddha jayanti organized by nepal so lumbini is the place where prince siddharth took place gautama okay around 623 bce what will the prime minister be doing shilanya ceremony of india international center he will also offer prayers at the Maha, uh, maya devi temple which is dedicated to the mother of buddha okay there is also a official sapling of the bodhgaya tree that was planted there ठीक है दिस हैपेंड लॉन्ग अगो एंड इंडिया विल बी होस्टिंग अ सिमिलर सेलिब्रेशन फॉर बुद्धा जयंती एट द आई बी सी और द इंटरनेशनल बुद्धिस्ट कन्वेंशन सेंटर इन डेली ठीक है दिस विल बी हेडेड बाई आर 
मिनिस्टर फॉर लॉ एंड जस्टिस किरेन रिजिजू वॉट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर विल बी डूइंग बिकम्स इम्पॉर्टेंट ठीक है देन वी कम टू दिस न्यूज दिस रिलेट्स टू आर्टिकल वन सिक्सटी वन ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ये वाली न्यूज है आर्टिकल वन सिक्सटी वन ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इसमें यह है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज अबाउट गवर्नर्स पावर ऑफ पार्डन सो लेट से आई कमिट अ क्राइम इन राजस्थान एंड देन आई गो एंड हाइड इन गुजरात एंड द ट्रायल अगेंस्ट मी इज फाइल्ड बाई गुजरात पुलिस एंड दे आर अक्यूजिंग मी ऑफ अ क्राइम इन राजस्थान सो नाउ लेट से आई एम सेंटेंस फॉर टेन ईयर्स ऑफ इम्प्रिजनमेंट आई अप्लाई टू द गवर्नर फॉर मर्सी गवर्नर सो नाउ विच गवर्नर विल आई अप्लाई टू इसके हिसाब से इट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ द क्राइम सो कहाँ पे अप्लाई होगी पार्डन पावर लोकेशन ऑफ द क्राइम ठीक है वेर एवर द क्राइम टुक प्लेस जहां पे भी क्राइम हुआ है वहां पे ही पार्डन की पावर एक्सेस करी जाएगी सो आई विल अप्लाई टू द गवर्नर ऑफ राजस्थान एंड नॉर्थ गुजरात इवन दो द केस वॉज फॉट इन गुजरात ठीक है देन योर क्वेश्चन अडानी न्यूज येस इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन द सेंस ऑफ नोटिंग डाउन वॉट हैज हैपन ओके सो अडानी ग्रुप हैज बॉट टू मेजर कंपनीज अंबुजा सीमेंट एंड ए सी सी सीमेंट दैट्स ऑल यू नीड टू नोट डाउन देन फर्स्ट इंडियन टू बी डिक्लेयर्ड सेंट दैट इज देवाश्याम पिल्लई टू बी डिक्लेयर्ड सेंट दिस इज कैथलिक चर्च फर्स्ट इंडियन लेमेंट टू बी कैनाइज ऑल राइट एटीन सेंचुरी केरला सेंट दैट इज Devashyam Pillai has been embraced as the first Indian layman to be declared saint. So this is one news. Pope Francis did it. Okay, this is the picture of the saint. All right, and he was born. Devashyam was born in April twenty three, seventeen twelve. That old, and he had took up. So the first Indian person to be declared saint in catholic church that's all that we need to note down then we have the news about new chief election commissioner that is rajiv kumar okay humne iske bare mein pehle bhi cover kiya tha he will be succeeding sushil chandra as the chief election commissioner okay chief election commissioner will be the is the person he is appointed by the president on the advice of the governor right then we move on another news venkaiah to visit our vice president is in uae where the new head of uae has been nominated okay why is he in uae because abu dhabi sheikh khalifa bin zayed al nasra okay he passed away and now we have a new one okay which is sheikh mohammed bin zayed al nahyan okay he has been elected as the new president of uae Okay, so he was there to offer condolences for the former president passing away, and the new one being declared. Okay. Then we move on. More uh, racial violence happening in America and in. Pakistan where there happened communal investi- uh, violence but for us the most important Finland Sweden inch closer to NATO whether they become NATO members is to be seen all right then we move on to the news here Palestinians annual rally what is this annual rally that the Palestinians do this rally is known as Nakba or the Nakba rally which is done by the Palestinians they do it every year through right this was the day when israel occupied palestine what is the nakba rally nakba was the day when israel occupied palestine okay how to get this pdf through the गूगल ड्राइव लिंक ऑल राइट आई एल बी शोइंग यू द गूगल ड्राइव लिंक लेटर सो आप वहाँ पर नोट कर सकते हो नकबा रैली दिस हैपेंड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट ठीक है नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट वॉज द ईयर वेन इजराइल ऑक्यूपाइड पैलेस्टीन ओके 
started occupying so it is in remembrance of that day when the world break loose all right and why are this tensions this year primarily because of the killing of the journalist of al jazeera that is shireen abu alek who was reporting on the violence that was happening in israel against palestinians and she was killed by the police her funeral was also not allowed by the palestinian police that is the one that we need to note on that note economic wise money investment nothing of note for us then we have already covered this news india demolishes indonesia scripts history in golden letters this is india's win there are uh, praise from everywhere around the world for india and on a sad note was that australian cricketer and three time world cup winner that is andrew simmons passed away due to a car crash all right so andrew simmons australian cricketer three time world cup winner he passed away he had been part of all three australia's world cup winning squads that is of 1999 2003 and 2007 okay so with this we come to the end of our newspaper analysis right now before we leave what all to note down now before i tell you that one note please do ensure that if you have liked the analysis make sure that you give it a thumbs up because your likes are very important for us to keep this content free of cost so on that note what all to note down ओके सो लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टू बी नोटेड डाउन इंडिया थॉमस कप विन थॉमस कप के फैक्ट्स व्हिच आई हैव नोटेड यू टोल्ड यू नेटोस मेंबरशिप फॉर फिनलैंड एंड स्वीडन आर्टिकल 14 प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिटी सेक्शन 124 ए रिवीजन एंड इट्स एडिटोरियल प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी इनॉग्रेटिंग शिलान्यास ऑफ इंडियाज सेंटर इन लुम्बिनी देन places related to buddh purnima and buddhism new chief election commissioner rajiv kumar so those all news are very very important aapko ye sari cheeze is link par milengi that is bit.ly/kusgknotes plus uske alawa the dates of your alet registration end on may 25 so make sure aap uske liye jaldi se jaldi registration kar le and if you have any other concerns aap hame रीच आउट कर सकते हैं हमारे फिजिकल स्टोर पे या इफ यू आर समन हु ओनली वॉन्ट्स टू प्रिपेयर फॉर योर मॉक टेस्ट फॉर डिफरेंट क्लैट एंड एलेट एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन टेक अन अकेडमी लाइट सब्सक्रिप्शन इसके लिए भी द कोड इज सेम वेर एन यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑफ दीज मॉक टेस्ट एंड यू ऑल्सो स्टैंड अ चांस टू विन कैश प्राइजेस प्लस फॉर एवरी अदर क्वेरी यू कैन कॉल मी एट सेवन एट टू फाइव एट सिक्स जीरो फाइव जीरो सिक्स एंड यूज द कोड के यू एस एच जी के this offer of 35% off will apply right now so please make sure aap isko use kare abhi sare ke sare notes will be available on these two links theek hai so make sure agar aapko koi bhi doubt hai kuch bhi aapko note karna hai to aap in dono link ke through jo humne aaj discuss kiya yahan pe access kar payenge and 
यू कैन रीच आउट टू मी ऑन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल दैट इज कुशाग्र गोयल द लीगल गेम अंडर स्कोर अन अकेड इसका लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में है ओके एंड फॉर अदर अपडेट्स फ्रॉम अन अकेडमी यू कैन ज्वाइन अन अकेडमी क्लैट टेलीग्राम चैनल प्लस इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग एट अन अकेडमी देर इज अनादर फीचर ऑफ फ्री क्लासेस विच आर आर स्पेशल क्लासेस वेर यू कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन पोल्स गेट नोटिफिकेशन देन ऑल्सो डाउनलोड लेक्चर नोट्स एंड वॉच दैम मल्टीपल टाइम्स प्लस सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑफ अन अकेडमी कैन इवन आस्क देयर questions verbally in these classes so on that note thank you so much kal fir se mulakat hogi at 12 pm at the same time aap jo bhi editorial maine aapko bole hain padhne ke liye for example the ones here all right on the editorial page please make sure ki aap inko padhe aur aapke jo bhi doubts hain unko kal zarur mujhse puche is newspaper analysis mein so on that note thank you so much agar aapko analysis acha laga hai to do give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel do subscribe on that note thank you so much everyone kal fir se mulakat hogi 